The moment when I had seen the other wizards, I noticed they were more powerful than me. I decided to become a more powerful and darker blood mage. After I'm done with that, I will be able to fight the dark, the dark thaumaturge and the other mages. So I started with creating strange cubes filled with blood. Those will form the base of my new armor. Then I needed some special buffs to keep me safe from damage. This started my journey powered by hunger for more. Hello, hello everyone. How are you all doing today? I'm doing quite fine. All right, people. Oh, wrong thing. Yes, I have been busy, guys. I almost have like two days of preparing for this episode, but I have a lot of episodes pre-recorded so I can spend some time derping around the base. First things first, I have here a little gas tier farm. It's a little bit overpowered. Oh yeah, uh, I have a little bit of a lag uh, for some odd reason, but uh, yeah, you can grow with Genny's Nether. You can grow like um, gas tears. So yeah, that's quite cool. Just put them on obsidian. They even tell it. Right click on obsidian block to plant. Really cool. Uh, Cornelia gave me four and I'm replanting them all the time. Okay, people, let's go to sleep. What I have prepared today is some new armor. Oh yeah, guys, we are going to do it. Bound armor of blood magic. Yeah, I'm kind of sick of tired of this iron armor that I have to replace all the time. Well, this is my first iron armor I ever made on the server, but still, I don't want to replace it because it's using up iron. Well, my way isn't helping me much because... I used to have like um, more than this number of blocks of iron, but that will pay it back, pay itself back in the future. Oh yeah, uh, we are going to make, as I said, bound armor. But before we are going to make that, we are I have prepared something else. And um, if you don't know how blood magic works, I have a all this tutorial from 1.7.2 I think uh, how to work with bound armor it's a little bit of an older me a little bit older mic because I didn't really fiddle with the mic settings but uh, I will link it Modi <laughs> sorry I got it restructured really quick um, it will work it will work uh, if you re uh, want me to redo that tutorial I will uh, redo it and I will make more tutorials of Blood Magic because I'm, this mod is amazing. Uh, I'm not going to do a Die Wolf uh, remake. I'm going to just do a block tutorial. So if you want to know more about the altar, I will do more about the altar. So I tell everything about the altar. Oh, okay, this lag spike. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I was floating in midair for a couple of seconds. Anyway, guys, let's get straight into it. All these tables contains sigils. Yes, we're going to make a buttload of sigils. So let's jump right into it. I think I just, yeah, I need a lava crystal for the lava sigil because um, the lava sigil gave gives you. Oh, I thought it used up the blood orb. <laughs> the lava sigil gives you a uh, lava. Um, what you call it? Lava protection. <laughs> uh, the lava sigil gives you lava protection when you put it into your bound armor. The next sigil will be water protection because, well, I don't want to drown. <laughs> I want to be overpowered. Okay, the next sigil. I, I, I need to make it two, twice. Cool. I'm going to make it twice. Oh, God. Okay. Ugh. Um, because I need it for another sigil. Yeah, I need it for another. I think. No, not this one. Yeah, I need also two air sigils. I know I already have one, but I need some 
for this one. No, this one. No. That was <laughs> the last one, of course. I need one for this one. And uh, let's grab my orb pack. I have too many tables, guys. Um. Okay, I need a wolf wind. This will give you <laughs> best not to wear a skirt. Yes, indeed. This will deflect arrows. So really cool, really cool. If you ask me. The next one is. Did I done fucked up? I done fucked up. This one is the haste sigil. Oh, I put the sugar in the wrong place. Darn it. Uh, at least it saves on cookies. So let's grab us some sugar. I was almost prepared. Dang it. <laughs> Even if I prepare a derp up. Okay. Let's do this. Hey sigil. This will give me haste. Of course. The next sigil is a cool one. Sigil of the fast mana. It will give me mining haste. I think it's haste. The next one is not for the suit, but it's for Oh, you get the buckets back. Okay, I was counting on a gloss. It's saying a little bit more about um, about the altar. It's going to be in handy when I'm making shit. It also tells you the progress on when you're crafting stuff. So pretty cool, pretty cool. The next one is also a really cool one. The one of magnetism. Really awesome. I even think I have made too many. Oh no, one for sigil. Uh, I think I don't need to make kits like this. Yeah, this one isn't for my, um, what shall we call it, for my uh, suit because it isn't working in there uh, when I just tested it. But I can show it off here. Uh, yeah, it basically is awesome in the nether because if I right click it will just get rid of the water. But don't worry, it will replace it back. Like, see, it goes all back into water sources. Really awesome when we are exploring the nether. We'll definitely keep that army and keep it active if it doesn't drain away too much. So I think we have one more sigil to make. Or maybe that was it. Yeah, I think that's what that was it. Oh yeah, the last table. This isn't a crafting table, just I need just to sh have a place to store the master block art because those prevent me from draining from some things if that makes any sense probably not i also need four of these oh yeah guys so yeah we have now prepared ourselves so let me prepare the place where we oh wait no derpy i know a profound game i'm sorry uh what's need this one I also need to make myself a thing that allows me to craft the armor. So yeah, armor forge. Oh yeah, guys. Really cool, really cool. So yeah, guys. Let me prepare the armor sets. Uh, so let me build the things I need to build. And I will be right back with you guys. Alright, guys. I have prepared myself the templates uh, if you want to uh, follow me along you can also do this the same as me you can also put them uh, straight up but you can also lay them down it's really nice really neat so guys what we are going to add and how we are going to do it i already explained uh this one is for uh, oh no i don't i didn't explain uh, this one is to protect yourself from uh what shall we call it from arrows, so I'm not getting hurt by arrows. I think the chance is really low. And this one is basically give you falling damage prevention. So yeah, how you apply them on the armor is like putting them in the sockets. So this is socket, so I'm putting there the air sigil in. In another socket, I will put the wolf bind in. Um, I made these blood orbs uh, of master blood orbs just because um, uh, they will. Uh, uh, ignore the blood drain from it so it's really it's re actually a must have if i have to say to have in your uh, suit so yeah but before i'm going to add anything else i'm going to add a weak blood shark that will uh, uh, allow us to have two upgrades per armor and add uh, a master blood orb so yeah we have added that um 
Before we are going to continue, I'm going to add them, uh, add the rest to it, and then after that, I'm going to show you how to make, how to like, uh, make the armor. So uh, first thing first, we are going to add these sigils to the legs because magnetism is logical. That is, uh, it is in the legs for some odd reason. I don't know why. And fast minor. I think I'm going to switch this out. It doesn't really matter where you put them in, but you need to wear the full suit to make it like work. So yeah. I'm going to put them in, so magnetism here, haste in here, a blood orb in here, and a blood chart in here. So yeah, we have done that. Now the next one. The fight sigil ignores uh, fight damage, so uh, we can fly into the for for void and not being damaged. And I have the sigil for fast miner in here, so we're going to do that. Uh, at, I think this one needs to go, yeah. Add a blood orb in here and add a blood shard in here. Cool. Now to the last one. Uh, these ones I found the most logical to put in here. Lava and water sigil that basically gives us like, um, what shall we call it? Um, fire protection and uh, water breathing. Um, let me go sleep really quick. Okay, let's put the last thing in it. So we put the sigils in the down two blocks. Bottom blocks filled sockets, and now let's put in the master blood orb. I put them in the bottom or in the top, and let's put in the weak shard. So now we have done that. We are basically done with the hardest part, the decision part. And um, if you uh, want to change some of these things, you are able to, but you need to make yourself an unbound, uh, unbinding. Okay, there was a little bit of lag spike. Uh, an unbinding ritual, of a ritual of unbinding that will pop out the uh, sockets and all the things you have put in. And so it's a very forgiving system. To make the system, uh, to make the armor, you basically need to place down a soul armor forge and right click on it. Oh yeah. And now I have a bound boots. And you can also see what you have put into it. A mass blood orb, a weak blood shard, a air sigil, and the sigil of the wolf wind. Or will wind. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now pick up this block. It's really nice you ha don't have to remake this block because this block requires four sockets each. So yeah, I'm quite happy of that. Uh, put down the next one. Oh god. Uh, it seems to be we have to make the unbound ritual. So we're, we'll, we will be right back with you guys. Alright guys, I have removed my binding ritual, uh, ritual really quick and made up this binding. Uh, so we, so I can show off you the unbinding ritual when you fucked up like me something uh, like that. So you need to put the boots in here and right click this thing. Does this thing need like a... Oh, okay, give me a second. All right, guys, it is now working and a rush of energy flows through the ritual. Um, I was missing the outer block. So yeah, I have fixed that right now. So let's do this. Let's see which one did I need to lose. Boom. Cool. We have our blocks back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Let's put this out before it burns down our ritual thing. <laughs> Cool effects, cool effects. I was almost scared that they drop like into the ritual thing. But yeah, we have the block blocks back. <laughs> Learn speaking profound. Okay, um, a weak block chart. Uh, I will put this one in here. Lag, please be gone. Uh, I will put the thing in there, the magnetism thing, and the haste thing in there. And let's place this block on the right place this time. Right click. Oh yeah, we have the pants. Okay, now let's continue without any derps, hopefully. Uh, let's do this one first. The chest piece. Boom. It also has all the right things. Yeah, looking cool, looking cool. And now let's do the head. Boom. Yeah, guys. Oh yeah, I'm really excited, excited for this. We have a full suit of bound armor. Alright guys, let's put this thing off. 
Let's see, let's see, what do we need? We needed one more thing. Yeah, I need to make a quick, uh, let's see. I need to make a divination sigil, A again. Because this thing I can check what I have currently in my LP network. So um, I'm going to make that really quick up and then we will test out this baby. Oh yeah, guys. All right, guys. I was just testing a little bit of my LP is stable, so I'm not like I have my sword active and will drain a little bit of LP, so I can check if the armor uses a lot up, because um, I'm not getting damage as far as I know, or a little bit of damage while wearing this armor, uh, but everything is getting like uh, used up from my LP network, so I have to find out a way to automate this. But before we do that, we are going to try out this baby. So let's throw away this junk armor in the backyard. Let's bury it. I'm, I'm going to... Wait, wait a second. I'm going to do something fancy. We don't have anything else fancier than this. And let's use some chisel. And we need a sign. Because this is going to be a milestone in my blood mage yeah i think it's blood mage in my blood mage career i am digging with my axe like a boss <laughs> um yeah um i don't want to have this armor despawned for some odd reason so let me grab also really quick a chest i kind of want to keep that trap chest for random other things so yeah guys we are going to say goodbye of old, boring old armor. Like, who wants to use this armor anymore? It's it's useless. It doesn't even protect you. Like, it, the dirt is even dried because nobody would take care of it. Old, profound armor. If you have a better idea to put here, uh, suggest it in the comment section below as always. But I would think this is an amazing name. Oh, I can even dig this really quick up. It is even rainy, so we are all sad like... <laughs> old armor, okay, bye. <laughs> we have now cool armor. Uh, let me sleep really quick. If I can, yeah, let's sleep. I will keep an eye on them. Yeah, they are not... Ah, oh, no. Okay, not yet testing out the arm because I want to do that fully fledged. Yes. <laughs> no rain. Okay, let me sleep now. Maybe I can sleep, please. Be gone, rain. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, let let's heal up. Let's clip the blood shard because I can always need more blood orbs because they are amazing. Let's lower the volume of these annoying creatures. Oh yeah, guys. I'm going to put on this armor. Oh, look how cool it looks. And the, oh, let's take off this silly hat. Oh yeah, guys. Look how cool this looks. Oh yes. So cool, so cool, oh, so happy. Uh, this is a milestone for me, guys. Let's see, do I walk any faster? Not really, not really. Uh, I might. Yeah, I think I walk even a little bit faster. Uh, I'm running now, so I don't know. At least I have so much protection, guys. Devilish protection for that matter. So let's attack this pack. <coughs> Please attack me. Oh, you tickle me. Stop tickling. <laughs> awesome. They normally do pack a punch, but now they're like tickling me. And let's see how much that takes off of our network. Uh, quite a bit. But uh, not that much because I'm not getting damaged that often. So we are now nicely protected. Stuff like that. Uh, let's see how much uh, poison damage does. Uh, let's take off this. 3,000. Uh, it's a little bit on the high side, but I have a cool idea. I'm going to make myself another altar somewhere else. But that will be something of the, 
of a future episode. Um, yeah. I oh yeah, I wanted to. Sh I've already shown you this, but uh, I'm going to do that also in the Nether. So we'll see you guys in a second. Well, I forgot that I have a teleporter, so I don't need to cut to fly back to spawn. So yeah, we will be there. I still need to replace a thing. Yeah, I'm constantly keep glitching in that, so I'm. So I might move that. Uh, I have to move it back a little bit because I'm going to do here something grand, and this is going to be a side room for my teleportation back and forth. So yeah, I love the teleportation thing. By the way, it doesn't soak up that much. So let's see. Uh, it uses also three thousand, so it's not that bad. Not that bad. Let's see if I'm using up now anything. No, I am not. That's the main thing. Uh, I also uh, added. Uh, uh, Master Blood Orbs because they are really awesome. They prevent actually from taking away any of the the lag is real. Uh, let me oh there we go. So let's see. Still haven't drained anything. So now we're going to we are a little bit too big. Oh, okay, the lag was real a second ago, so we can fit. Can't go through this door, please. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Damn it, I forgot my sigil of flight. I know I have air, uh, air sigil in, but uh, air sigil, I mean. But I don't really feel like uh, using that thing. And also, let's see if we are lava protected. If not, we will notice it fast enough. We should have fire protection. I think there's something wrong with this armor. I have a lava sigil in. Big blood shard. This should be okay. So I need to do a little bit of research on that later on. But we are going to transfer back in ourselves. We're going to use this sigil. Look how amazing this looks. Oh yeah. Can get this stuff really easy. Because uh, if you don't know. Um, this uh, cobalt spawns on the lava more frequent than above lava. Also, this is a little bit like it's intensive for some odd reason. So it will be right. Oh, that went. So yeah, we can explore the bottom of the lava like really easily. Quite amazing. Quite amazing. Oh, this looks so awesome. What do you think, guys? This is looking so freaking awesome. Like I feel kind of safe here even. So yeah guys, um, I'm going to uh, check how much this drained, quite a bit actually, oh yeah that's quite quite a lot actually. Anyway guys, I think this is it for this episode, I want to thank you guys all for watching, uh, don't forget to rate, cam comment and subscribe if you like this content and I hope you see you guys in the next episode, bye bye.